joining us now on Blitz is Riley Wilson, the senior goalkeeper for Habersham Central. Uh, incredible uh, player between the pipes there um, for quite a while now for Habersham. So thank you so much for being on Blitz. Um, let's talk about the region championship this team just won, the first in, in school history for the girls. What was that moment like for you? Can you kind of remember what was going through your mind when that when that final horn went off? Yeah, so uh, we were playing Shiloh that game. That was a game that we had to win to um, clinch the title. And uh, it was uh, not as much of a competitive game. We beat them 10-0, but I um, had been, I had subbed out and was on the bench so because we were up so much. But um, it was super cool when the horn blew, and or I guess it was 10-0, so when the whistle blew and he had called it early, um, it was just crazy. We all just were so excited. It's excited for Reno, but um, the, before we went down for that game, Reno had told us the situation and how we really only needed to beat Shiloh. We didn't necessarily have to win the North Forsyth game, so that was the moment that we were all really mainly excited because, I mean, he, Reno like got a little emotional and we were like, this is crazy, like, this yeah. is about to happen. So that was probably a moment as in the locker room before the game. So. Yeah, that's definitely pretty special. And But you can really say, like, even though that, those, that, that was the clincher, the Jackson County overtime game, uh, unreal. Uh, what a thriller for you. So how do you deal with the nerves in a game like that that potentially could come down to, you know, that, that one goal? And that's a lonely place to be between, mm -hmm. between the posts out there. Uh, I'm sure you kind of relish that, but how do you deal with the nerves and also being ready for whatever comes your way? Um, I think it's kind of – just natural for me now. I feel like that's how every game has been. I think starting um, ever since sophomore year, I've been the starting goalkeeper. I hadn't really come out of the game in, unless we're up by a lot. Just having to deal with that pressure early on, like when I was a young player and didn't really know much, kind of made it easier for now that I don't necessarily, I don't really feel the pressure as much anymore because it's kind of like, I don't know, I'm here, I'm, I'm going to have to do, you know. Um, but I think overall it's just, just I don't trusting first off trusting my defense and knowing that they're going to be there, um, to which they our defense has been incredible this season. But other than that, I think I'm kind of just used to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I know y'all have um, high expectations, big goals that you set for yourself. One of those being the region championship. But what are the goals that this team set out to accomplish this year? And maybe what are some that haven't been checked off yet? And then personal as well. Um, well, like you said, definitely region. And that was the one that we didn't even have to talk about. Everyone just knew. Like we had talked. I mean, we had talked about wanting to win region, but everyone knew that was the goal for the season. Um, so that was incredible to be able to check off. But other than that, um, I I think, and we all ag would agree that it would be crazy if we went past the Sweet Sixteen. It's never been done before. Um, so to win a second round of state would be would be probably our, another goal. And then for me personally, um, really would like to be the region of the or the keeper of the region um there's several good keeper goalkeepers in our region so we'll see what happens but um that was one of my goals for the season yeah, so i'm sure it would fit the mold that it's a historic season mm -hmm. so why not continue to make history uh you guys got to go to italy what a crazy awesome experience that hardly anyone gets to do something like that um what was that process like what was that whole trip like for you and what do you think was your kind of biggest takeaway or your favorite part of the trip uh, it was super awesome. Just being able to be with the team the whole time. Um, I think usually any any other group would get tired of each other and, you know, that type of thing would happen, but we didn't. We It was so fun the whole time. Um, I think it was super awesome to be able to play in another country and even Reno really um, like made sure we knew that it was really important because he, he said that that was, that was one of his biggest dreams growing up was to play in Italy because his family's from Italy and all, so that was really neat. Um, and it was really neat to play the Italian girls because they kind of, in a way, like look up to us. Because mm -hmm. America women's soccer is like the standard because a lot of them don't have the opportunity growing up to play soccer. So that was really neat. But other than that, it was just really cool to see another a new place, um, places that I've you know you you grow up hearing about like the tower Leaning Tower of Pisa. We got to see that, and that that was really neat just yeah. to be with my best friends, you know, that I play with. So that was really neat. Yeah, unforgettable and definitely something you don't take for granted because mm -hmm. uh, that's not that's not normal. Uh, so you have been fortunate enough and gifted enough to, to have the opportunity to go play at the next level. So you're going to be going to Barry. Um, talk about that recruiting process. Was that one that you loved, hated, maybe a little in between? And how nice was that for you to sort of get that out of the way so you could enjoy the rest of this year? And why Barry? Um, so I 
Well, I started playing soccer in eighth grade, so I playing soccer in college wasn't necessarily under my radar. I didn't really decide that I wanted to until like December of my senior, or probably probably around like October of my senior year. So I started reaching out to some schools, some smaller schools, and um, Barry, the assistant coach there, he had contacted me back, so we were in contact, and he knew my goalie cr goalie trainer, and he's great, Coach Alex, he's great. Um, and so he had called my goalie trainer and they had talked and then um, I had to, he wanted me to make a, like a training video with him. So we did that and then finally I got con in contact with the head coach and um, I was able to go on a visit, um, which it, ha it happened perfect because my twin brother is also going to Barry and he was in the recruitment, recruitment process at the same time. So he had his official visit that weekend and so we kind of set it up to where we could both be there. Um, and we went down to Rome and we talked with them and they gave me an offer, so that was really cool. And I, it, it just felt right. I just knew, um, I knew that's where after touring the place and meeting the coaches and some of the players, I was like, this is where I want to be. So yeah. it was really cool. And a cool package deal with you and your brother. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Well, congratulations on what's been a Thank stellar you. career for you and can't wait to see what you do the rest of your senior year. Thank you. Thanks.